I already, already know, man, all things sports and entertainment. So Colorado had a big game against Colorado State over the weekend. And uh, you, you might well say it was for all the marbles, honestly, because they had such a disaster of a win or loss the week before against Nebraska. Well, Shador Sanders, uh, he showed up. He threw for 310 yards, four touchdowns, no interceptions. Travis Hunter, who's clearly the best player in the country. Like I said, he should, he's going to more likely win the Heisman, and your record shouldn't matter. None of that. If we talk about best player, player, he had two picks and an interception. Now, this is my point, right? Shout out to them. You know, you win in the game. But as y'all see in the thumbnail, the image went around of the quarterback tried to shake Shador's hand. And Shador pointed his finger at him and, and refused to shake his hand. You know, most people, you can make an argument to a degree that, well, they were talking trash before the game. You know, they put out that video talking about we owed them one. We've been thinking about it. And Dion can't go out there for them and so on and so forth. But what I didn't like about it is because it wasn't like it was the running back. It's not like it's the wide receiver. This is your quarterback. Your quarterback is the leader of the team, you know. So I have a big problem with that. Now, I don't like the fact that Shador is coming off like it's us against everybody else. I'm the enemy. No matter what's said, at the end of the game, you're supposed to shake like men, you know. Uh, it, when, when you watch boxing, you'll see two fighters. They'll be, you know, knocking each other's brains, giving each other brain damage. And at the end of the uh, 12th round, you'll see them hug it out, you know. And when you and when you don't see that, or when you see, uh, oh, I forget the guy's name, but this was 02, I think, 02, 03. He cheap shot at the guy at the end and ended up going to prison over it. That's a classless thing. Shador, that, that was a very classless move. Now, I know, while I'm a Colorado fan, I know I'm going to have a lot of people, me, oh, man, you hate me, you hate No, because this type of stuff is what the nfl people are looking at you know and shador will be losing money at each time see you can't do that in the nfl you got sponsors uh let's just say hypothetically shador got a a, a deal with samsung and and whoever right boost mobile i don't know cricket uh nike and and so on and so forth right they don't want your quarterback doing it you know they don't want your quarterback acting like that and when you're a quarterback, man, you're a brand and you're the brand of the team from these billionaires. These billionaire owners want to know, OK, well, if I cut you this check, how are you going to represent my team? How are you going to represent us? And you can't do that, Shador, man. And I really hope that Coach Prime talked to him. And, you know, you, you got to oh, see. Here's the thing when it comes to playing sports, you can be arrogant to, your, to a degree, but you got to be humble at the same time. And if you don't, you'll get humble i.e. a Shannon Sharp trying to uh, trying to G-check Chad Ochocinco live instead of all camera. But then two two days later, you got caught, you know, doing what grown folks do. So you got to be humble, man. You got to be humble. And like I said, well, for Shador, you're the quarterback. You know what I mean? You shake up after, after each game. And somebody said this as well. You see he didn't lead the game early this time. That's not a great look, man. So... I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. I know I'm having people disagreeing with me, but I want to know what do y'all think?